the Republic of Albania, another Mongolia of Europe. I've got a good Hungarian wipe while reading that. Seriously, can anyone pronounce that? Because I can't. Our today's campaign can be named as Coop after Coop, because today we will have a lot of coops. And we will build our own USSR, but on the Balkans. What can be better than the Balkan USSR? Yeah, United Balkans, what can go wrong? Oh my god, Schnitzel broke my pick again. Black Monday has hit Albania. Yep, that sucks. And what will we do with the Black Monday? Of course, nothing. That's not in our interests. At least right now. Important reminder, don't search this focus until we bring socialists to power in Albania. Because it will ruin our campaign. And there is no reason to search the economic focus through line because... We will reduce all the buffs of the Black Monday search in this focus, bringing Albania into the 20th century. And it will happen in the late 1936. Instead, improve your army. The French Empire is officially restored. And in the commune we've got Cerulean's totalist fraction. I'm just addicted to that crazy stuff happening in the Kaiseridex. The 1936 Albanian elections and we will choose the second option, the Progressive Party, the Social Conservatives. So our president remained in the power of the state. And the next step is gonna be resistant land reform. This will anger Bashkimi and the rest of lower class within our nation. That's good. Reds within Albania. Hell yeah, boys, everything is developing in the very best way. Attempted assassination of our president. President's car flying into a building. Goodbye, our lovely president. He didn't make it. And guess what? Zogu performs a counter coup. Now the Albanian Charlie Chaplin is in the rule of our state. So Ahmed Zogu sizes the ranks of the nation. It will sound ironically, but we will proclaim him King Zog I. Long live the king. Now Charlie Chaplin is a king of Albania. And right after doing that, we need to search the next focus in this focus through line. Fundamental statute of the Albanian kingdom. The Red Roaches plot beneath our feet. Hmm, Zog cares not about the socialist vermin, focus on the real issues. That was his biggest mistake. And our government was cooped again by the Revolution National Committee. Love the Canare, love the shock Kelmendi. What a nice Albanian socialist picture. I wanna take a photo with them. So that's our third ruler in our today's campaign, and guess what? He will die right after the first focus. Seriously, he will rule for only two weeks. Bro lives the whole life for rule for two weeks. Does that worth it? I guess so. The death of Kelmendi. We must move on from the shoulders of this true titan. United forever and friendship and labor. Our today's campaign matches perfectly with that song. Workers Congress of Albania. Damn, they've got a good logo with a double hat eagle. Damn, that building of Albanian Congress reminds me a farmhouse. A typical Congress building in Albania. Albania, the younger brother of Hungary. And no one knows how did they get to Europe. Boys, check this out, our fourth ruler, Enver Hodja. First secretary Hodja. But even Hodja isn't the final ruler of Albania in our today's campaign. Like seriously, that's just a series of coups and governmental changes. Just imagine living in this Albania. Brudas, in 70 days we are gonna remove all effects from the Black Monday. So as I told you, there is no reason to search the economic focus through line in our today's campaign. Some icons here are really weird. For example, this icon. I don't like it. Banning all the political parties, especially liberals? Gosh, what a good idea. And we truly need it because the popularity of our syndicalists is only 12%. And searching communes through its son, we will join the third international. Guys, we are just skimming the cream out of our political focus through line. Searching the best focuses in the shortest period of time. Socialist Union of France. Wait, that is something new. Man, what a cringy flag. 
a shelter for all citizens, a bunker for every single family. Whoa, we need to build a lot of bunkers because our population is 1.2 million people, the favorite scene of Kimon Art Tinkers. Studying in Paris for years, picking up socialist, syndicalist, anarchist and communist ideas along the way. And Verkhoje is the most loyal and orthodox adherent to the socialist vocations of Paris and their various party lines. The center of the socialist world and the most successful modern example of revolutionary action, France is everything. Albania should and shall be in Hodges' eyes a dream that shall come to pass with a little help from his friends. The legacy of Paris, the zeal of Albania. Yes, it is not everything is right in the Austro Hungarian Empire. Illyrians are waiting for permission to eat schnitzel. Grab a pickaxe in your hand. Damn, it sounds like a Minecraft slogan. So our mountainous nation may be small. The earth's bameth our fate is rich in mineral and material wealth. Expanding our money in operation and resource extraction, refinement facilities, we will bore into the crust and carefully explode the natural bounty of these lands in order to fuel the revolution and the formation of our ambition. Wait, what now we got South African Federation and Republic of South Africa? A few days ago it was Sudwest Africa. Now it's Republic of South Africa which was uh, destroyed earlier. Gosh, and why am I not surprised? Two South African states at the same time. Now you've seen existence of the two African states at the same moment. I've got only one question. Cyprus, how the fuck did you get there? So, in May 1979, we are gonna change our leader for the final time. For the fifth time. No other way it ends. The Workers' Congress votes on Enver Hodja. Goodbye, Hodja. You weren't a good leader of Albania. The Workers' Congress votes on Enver Hodja. We have no need for this shaman charlatan. The revolution moves on. Surprisingly, now we are ruled by the Workers' Congress of Albania for the second time in our today's campaign. And today, brothers, we will choose the first option. We will choose the secretary, whose name I can't even pronounce. But there we can see a globe happy people and Lenin with Marx. And our new secretary is really fat. Yes, our new secretary is really fat. Probably he at all anti-communists in our country. Yugophilism. I like that idea. Especially effects that we will get from this idea. Close with figures like Josip Broz Tito that share his dream of a united union of thousand Slavs realized through the advancement of a locally oriented form of socialism. Oh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, is a devoted Yugofil and shall pursue these aims while in office as first secretary. And the icon is really, really based. Boys, I finally got it. He is an Albanian Don Polo. Russia intervenes in the world crack. Okay, nothing special, yes, but there is one moment. Ukraine has joined the Moscow Accord, so they have betrayed Germans. Man, that is a huge surprise. Russia and Ukraine are in war? Yeah, against who? Now everything became even funnier because Third International is fighting against the Moscow Accord as well. That is a mega Second World Krieg. Expand the Southern Socialist Republic. So, since that moment, we will be known not as the People's Republic of Albania, but as the Union of Southern Socialist Republics, the USSR. And we will also gain war claims against Illyria, Serbia, Tsardom, Bulgaria and Romania. And my first war goal is gonna be Serbia. Bro just annex Montenegro. Just a normal day on Balkans. Boom, boys, here we go. USSR. And a new based flag. Based flag of the USSR. Now let's destroy all the traitors. And when I declared war on Serbia, I received this event, the reclamation of Kosovo. Kosovo, the home of the Albanian National Awakening, has been in the hands of treacherous Serbians for far too long. The land itself is a rightfully Albanian, with most, if not all, of the inhabitants considering themselves to, rightfully, be ethnically Albanian. For years we have had to sit idly, allowing the Serbians to hold on to the area. That ends today. 
Long live Albania. And our next stop is Belgrade. And bro doesn't even want to defend his border. Okay. Yeah, we'll check this out. We are encircling them right here near Bulgarian border. Thanks to their stupidness, in a few days they are gonna be encircled. And Macedonia will be mine. Yep, some forces are encircled in Macedonia. Congratulations, Brudas. Okay, we created another encirclement right here. I guess that we captured Belgrade. And Serbians have capitulated. Anyway, Serbia and Romania are mine now. Sacred Union of Sikkim. Leninist Sikkim. Now you've seen everything in this life. And the next victim of our expansion is Illyria. The Union of Citizen Socialist Republics declared war on Illyria. And of course I will fight with them from the territory of Hungary and Austria. Man, it is going pretty good. I'm sorry every follow me, Germans have captured Moscow. Brudas, we did it, we have capitulated Illyria. And most of it is gonna be ours. Well, the Russian Republic is officially dead. Any last words? Priyatel. So the situation on the east is better than the situation on the west. So this is the end for little schnitzel. Soon Vienna will be liberated from the imperial dictatorship. And you can see that my allies are losing this war. And Germans have Bulgaria. So in exchange of not joining the war against the Reichspakt and betraying the Third International, we will get Bulgaria. Now the sense looks way better. Boom, boys, so that's how the post-war USSR looks like. The Union of Southern Socialist Republics, with an amazing shape of our state. After all, I can say that the USSR experience in the Kaiser Redux is amazing.